Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we will discuss about Jira Work Management Asset Creations. Jira itself is having a template where we can streamline the process of managing incoming assets creation request. So we'll see here how we can utilize assets creations within a Jira in detail. If you want to learn Jira in depth, please watch my Jira playlist. And if you want to understand Jira API, watch my API playlist. Now to start with it, whenever we are creating a project inside the Jira, we have to navigate it to the design sections and from here select assets creations. In assets creations, you can find it out. This is the templates which all things we can see it is like issue types that is asset task and subtask. Inside the workflow, we can see the status as to do drafting in review approved and created but these fields are not at fixed we can customize it totally depending on our requirement so i'm just selecting this templates and from here i will provide the name jira asset creation asset creation and i'm selecting the same template here and once i will select we can also see do you want to select the project types at team managed or company managed? For company managed, we have to go ahead with administrator only. For teams who work with other across many projects in a standard way, this is set up by Jira admins. If we are selecting the team managed, then we have the project types. Access is open, private, and limited. We can see it here. And other than that, even we can invite the people from the other project. So let's go ahead with this and create a asset management project. From there, we'll get to know which all sections we have. So once this project is created, you can see we have to do drafting in review approved and created. Now to manage this account here, we, we can start with the summary. So in the summary sections, we can see what is the summary where is our project lying and where we have the priority set of these all details we can see it here in project members we can see uh, create the assets from either asset task or manage types other than that we can also create it from here so i will select the project as jira asset creations issue type will be asset and here i want to specify let's say i want to set up nat system network act so not system i want to replace it so in summary maybe i can just specify this the product name apart from that we have to also specify the complete details so we support markdown by different factors like we have to provide the project's detail then the person who is going to manage which in which projects we can use it these all things we have to specify it from here other than that, we can also provide the priority is the highest. Let's say we are in a hurry to be uh, created in highest priority. Then we can, and other than that, if we have any approval cycle, we can specify it here. Now, if all these details will be filled, then this system will be created successfully. Now, I want to create few more items. Let's say I want to order the laptop uh, for the new upcoming project. So let's say i want to make the name as jas as a project name and laptop we need for how many people we need we have to specify the configuration of the laptop and these all details once we are done with it probably we can click on create now we have two items available apart of that once this assets item created we can also add a child issues if it is related with the task we can also add the task maybe nat system is having additional requirements like configuration point of view or any hardware assets which we can provide it so let's say i want to add just hardware asset click on create and then i want to add software asset now we have these two child items. Unless and until these two items will be not finished, we cannot see that NAT system is configured. Now I wanted to just move into the drafting status. So here we can create the drafting status in review. If any approval is required, this, that will be in review. If it is approved, then this will become an approved list. And here we also have the created. And if everything is fine, then this will be deployed and in, moved into the created status. 
inside the list items we can see the complete list here where we can see the status category assignee comment due date priority labels reporter and if we have any additional confluence pages we can tag it here so this is how we can manage the complete asset board in the calendars we can also specify when we want to have different line items let's say if if we want to add these items into the category or board sections or maybe in our calendars we want something in the priority basis like on 14th we can mark it inside the calendar within the timeline we can see the complete timeline here form sections will show us the detail form in pages we can create a different set of pages from the confluence and map it here issue sections we have these issue sections which is created inside it so these all details will be listed here even we can apply the filter type we can uh, filter it out with the type we can also specify different line items in the report sections we can see the complete report or repository here now when, when we will navigate into the summary sections you can see the summary 25 percent of the assets is in drafting 75 percent of the line items is in um, uh, to do status and whenever the status will be updated we will get to know the complete detail here now here we can also create major or important line items as well now to see uh, those details we can add a uh, big piece or then we can divide let's say we want to add hardware and software asset so here hardware asset if i'm just adding okay now i want also software asset so in hardware asset let's say i want to specify i want 25 mouse for my organizations so this will become hardware i want 20 keywords then if i want to just order 15 chairs that is also fine we can also include 10 mouse pad something like that we can specify all those items and specify the line items here whenever it is done we can just close it a part of that in the software assets we can also specify like we want oracle software then if if we want 25 ms office license then 300 jira accounts maybe 150 excel or aws account something like that so these were all our software assets which we can include and depending on the priority and project circulations we can tag with them so this is how we can manage these assets within a jira and based on their updates this will move into the several status here in summary boards you can see this all is getting updated and based on status we can see the complete board in the list item also we can see all those list timelines based on the timelines when we will target that detail is also available so this is how we can manage the complete jira assets within our jira board that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching